This little beauty is the 4000 series indexing valve from K-Rain. Dwayne Smith here, your irrigation product specialist. Let's talk about indexing valves. If you're not familiar with this type of valve, let me fill you in. Indexing valves are a single valve that feeds multiple water lines. They can run up to four or six zones depending on the model. Its design has few moving parts, which means less maintenance and a longer lifespan. The indexing valve can be installed above ground in a valve box or directly buried. Typically with irrigation valves, you need one valve for each zone. Each valve would then need to be wired to a controller. With an indexing valve, you will still need a controller and a control valve or pump to turn the water on and off. But one of the great things about the indexing valve is that it runs on water pressure. This means you won't have to worry about running any wires to it. You gotta love that. It will work with flows as low as 10 gallons per minute and at pressures of 25 to 75 PSI. This one's designed for up to four zones. You can tell by the four outlets on the bottom here. And here is a six zone. By the way, this is a one inch and this is a one and a quarter inch. If you don't need all those zones, you will need a replacement cam with the correct number of zones and you'll need to cap off any unnecessary outlets. To do that, attach a PVC pipe at least six inches long and cap the end. If you do decide to do that at a later date, you can always come back and make that outlet available. By the way, you do need to use multi-purpose glue, not PVC glue, because this is ABS plastic, not PVC. Okay, to change out the cam, First, we're going to remove these retaining screws right here. And this is sped up. We're going to pry out the current cam. And this is the cam that I'm going to be putting in. Now, notice when we end, there's this little stem sticking up right here. And that's going to have to match this divot right here. See that? As you slide it in, this stem right here is going to fit up inside the cam. Once you get it in, you're going to rotate counterclockwise. That's important. Until that stem and that divot line up. Like that. And once it's in place, it shouldn't try to pop back up on you and then put the two screws back in. And this is sped up. Once the cam is installed, the indexing valve will cycle through all the zones in order. After the water is turned off, the next time it's turned back on, it will start with the next zone in the index. If you're looking for an economical and reliable solution to your irrigation needs, the K-Rain indexing valve might be right for you. Buy yours today on sprinklerwarehouse.com. Questions? Chat with one of our incredible customer service agents on sprinklerwarehouse.com. They really do know their stuff and they'll get you squared away. Get everything you need for that next landscape project from Sprinkler Warehouse, a proud member of the Heritage Landscape Supply Group. Your success is our heritage. Sprinkler Warehouse, America's most shop sprinkler store. Subscribe to our YouTube channel for helpful tips, tutorials, and general sprinkler instruction.